I've been trying to learn Spanish for quite a while now. And there's this cool trick that I discovered that has completely changed the game for me. So the key is to immerse yourself in the language. If you're like me, you probably took your phone and changed the settings to say Spanish in my case, but you can immerse yourself in the language without having to travel to like Spain, Latin American countries. And that is to consume content in the language that you want to learn. Hence, here's the automation. It's going to translate selected text so you can select text like this with the right click. So you just right click on the text you want to translate and it's going to translate it for you. Let's go ahead and set it up. In order to make this possible, we're going to be using the Chrome extension called Bardeen over here. I have it installed. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out. I'm going to open it just like this one and click on the card. When you click on try it, let me close it with option B shortcut. So if you click on try it, you're going to see uh, this uh, prompt. So here is where you get to choose the language you want to translate to. I want to translate information to Spanish. And as I'm going through articles, which you're going to see in a second, we're going to be translating it uh, to Spanish. So let's save and activate this automation. Boom, it's activated. And here I have an article from futurism.com. We're going to go through it as we usually would, and then find a word that we would want to know how it would sound in Spanish. Uh, let's go through it. What does sort of means? Sort of, sort of. Let's right click on this, let's translate it. And then here, you're going to see this notification, algo así como. So this is the translation for the word, pretty neat. And you can just go ahead and just like this, go ahead and translate something like this, claims to be true. What does it mean in Spanish? And because I have notifications turned off as I'm recording, uh, here we have the translation, there we have it. But you, you're going to see this notification show up automatically. But now an even better use case for me to learn Spanish is to actually consume the information in Spanish and translate what I do not understand to English. And it's exactly what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and open Bardeen over here and we're going to duplicate this automation and customize it so it works exactly the same way but it translates to English. We're going to call this automation translate to English. This is the name of the automation. We're just duplicating it uh, just like this. And then we're going to look at the guts of this automation by going into the builder. The builder is where your automations are built and you can build quite a lot of things to automate your manual work. So we're going to go ahead and customize it a little bit. First of all, we're going to uh, customize this right click trigger. So when we right click somewhere, it says translate with Bardeen instead, we're going to say translate, translate to English this time. Okay, so it's going to translate stuff from anywhere. So you can right click on anywhere, or you can just pick it to be on text. And uh, this option is going to show up translate to English, then we're going to be translating to which language when you run this automation for the first time, that's what you need to specify. Uh, instead of uh, me picking it later, I just want to go ahead and pick English over here. Let's do that. And then uh, using text, we're going to use the text that we selected in the trigger action. So let's pick text over here. And just like this, we've picked English, we've changed the name of the menu option. Uh, then we're going to scroll to the right a little bit and find this uh, open browser notification. That's what the automation does. So let's go ahead and click on done enable this automation. And now we need to find some content that is in Spanish. So we can go ahead and just select some of uh, this stuff. Las afirmaciones. Uh, let's go ahead and Google for it. Las afirmaciones. Find something in Spanish. So uh, there we have it. And uh, as we're reading through the content in Spanish, there's some words I might not understand. For example, uh, beneficiaris, uh, beneficiarse. Let's select this word, right click on it and translate this time to English. Just like this, we're going to see this uh, notification that says benefit. This is the translation of the word. But here's where my favorite part comes in. When I translate things, I want to make sure that I actually retain the knowledge and remember it down the line. And this is why I have a Notion database where I save all of the words that I've ever translated. And here I have that database. So now let's go ahead and customize our automation to automatically 
add the phrases that we translated over here. Let's open Bardeen, go to the builder, which you already know how to use right now, open in the builder, and in the very right side, we want to add one more action. That's going to create a new page in Notion. So we're going to pick Notion, create new page in Notion, take the database called uh, Learning Spanish, this is the name of the database. And the last thing you want to do is you want to map the data that comes from the previous actions onto here. We have uh, three options over here. We have the phrase that we try to translate. We're going to grab it from the trigger action. We're going to get the text from there. Then we're going to get the translation that comes from the second action that gets a translation. And then finally, we're going to get some context where we encounter that phrase, we will need to find the link to this web page that we're translating text on. For that, there is a get uh, current URL action, just like this, it's going to be getting the current page URL. Click on done, done again, turn it on. And now we have a turbocharged automation. Let's scroll down a little bit and I'm going to select a little bit of text. So, uh, importante, okay. So I'm going to right click on it and run this automation. Translate to English. It's going to show us the browser notification. Important not to fall into toxic passivism. But if I want to remember that, I can go back to my Notion database and there it is. So here's the phrase, here's the translation, and here is where I encountered it pretty cool. And as always, you can find the links to the automations that you just saw in the description of this video. Definitely click on them and try them out. They take just one minute to set up. Up next, make sure to check out this video about 12 must-have Chrome extensions to turbocharge your productivity.